everybody and welcome to my channel and today what I'm gonna do is I'm doing something super easy because today we're gonna have a little celebration and uh, yeah so guess what I went to H-E-B right and you know how those people are cooking so it was so yummy usually I know I could make my own but since I don't have time I bought the Bayou Brothers Gumbo starter. It's really good. Uh, along with that, I'm gonna make some white rice. And I'm gonna make this sausage. It's the easiest thing you could do. All you have to do is cook the sausage, add this, put it on top of some white rice, and there you go. Now I got me a rice cooker, so that's gonna be even quicker. So I wanna make two cups of rice. So I got me one cup. I'm gonna add it to this one. And I'm gonna put another scoop. Two. Yeah, that's how easy it is. Just like one, two, that's it. And I put my rice in here and now, I'm gonna add my water. Now there's like a water line, depending on how many cups of rice you use, like mine is two, so there's like a, a two here. So first I have to rinse out the rice and take out all that starch and dirt, whatever. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my rice cooker. It's not gonna take that long and it tells me exactly when it's ready. It turns it off. Okay, so here I go. Okay, so I got in here, and you know what? I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, because I wanna at least have just a little bit of flavor. So I'm just putting a little bit of salt. It's gonna get stirred. So I stirred it, and I'm gonna put it in my rice cooker, so it's over here. Uh, you see that little rice cooker? Put it on here. Ta -da. And then I'm going to put the cover. Ta -da. And you put this little thing, you push it up because that's where it says cook. Oh, you push it down. Push it down. And it says cook. Ta -da. Cook. And then once it's done, it'll, it'll just turn it to warm. So that's what's good about that. Now I'm gonna make the sausages. So even though it is really easy, you know, sometimes you gotta add a little bit of finesse. So I'm gonna add half an onion, half a bell pepper, and I'm gonna add three celery sticks. Chop it all up. I'm gonna put it with the sausage. And um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This is cooking. I'm gonna add the onion. You know what? I would only add like half of that onion, but since I already chopped it all up, oh well. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. I'm gonna throw this little guy. Right through the leaves. It smells good already. It smells good already. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna use this for the, I mean for the, I'm gonna use it for the garlic. small on the celery. I make mine a little bigger than I usually slice. About that big, I don't know if you can see it. Bigger than usual. Yeah. I know I'm making a mess. I 
know sometimes I make a mess. Yeah. It's all right. I clean it up anyway. All right. And I'm going to get that other celery. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make like about three, three lines down, then I cross over. So, just so that y'all know. Look. girls in the makeup do it. Alright, here you go. You know, this is like something super easy to make. It's so delicious. And um, you don't need to take that long to make it. You want to do New Orleans style gumbo? There it is. There it is. Put it in there. You can, you can just put the sausage add this, put it with rice, and you're good. But sometimes I just like to be a little, I like to put my own little spin on it, even though it tastes good, I know. But I like to do my little honey bunny, little extra spicy. And of course, if you like it a lot spicier, you can add cayenne pepper, or you can add um, Frank's uh, Creole seasoning. That's good too. I put that in all my stuff. <laughs> just kidding. But I do sometimes. It just depends. Sometimes I like it a little spice. But I can't handle too much spice though, you know? Just enough. I I can't I can't handle too much. I'm sorry. But I know a lot of people can. Now I got my bell pepper and I'm gonna just chop it up. While this is cooking. It was frozen, by the way. I had frozen sausages, okay? That's how <laughs> I spiced them quick. It, you know, sometimes I don't have time to do all that. You know, you just want something quick and easy. You don't want to have to deal with too much. You don't have that much time on your hands. Well, sometimes you gotta just do that, you know? So I'm doing this. And I'm gonna add this to the pan. And then I'm gonna get my garlic. I've got short people problems right now. Short people problems. Got the garlic. All right, so I'm just gonna stir it. See how the sausage is getting its color? Doo -doo -doo. And everything's gonna start, the onions are gonna start getting nice and just this goodness on it, caramelized. The sausage is going to be cooking through. Up uh, after this, I'm going to add my this right here, and it's it's really good. I mean, and oh 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 oh, and then I'm going to add my garlic. I got it right here. I'm going to push it, put it in here, but I'm going to wait because. With garlic, all you want to do is you want to get the garlic, put it in. Once you smell the scent of the garlic, you quickly hurry up because then you don't want it to taste nasty. It'll get bitter on you. And let's see, I think I have it too high. I'm going to put it on a four. Just so everything can marinate, you know, cook well, saute. It'll taste so delicious after this. I'm just taking my time to do this. But I mean, it's simple. It's probably only gonna take me like 20 minutes or less to make. You know, the rice should be coming out pretty soon. Right now, it's still on cook. Once it finishes, it, it pops up and it just says warm. 
and it keeps it warm until I'm ready. So that's what I like about the rice cooker. I used to make mine on over the stove, but I decided like I'm gonna get a rice cooker because it's a lot easier to get a rice cooker. By the way, guys, how are y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing great and dandy. Um, you know, everything is going up in prices. So like something like this is very, very good. A lot of times they have, okay, so I got this when it was on special at HP. And um, you keep, you can buy like two to three of them and just have it in your, um, your cabinet. And then when you're ready, you know, to make something quick, something that, you know, comforting. <laughs> But you can make this. There's stuff on the bottom. It just like, but once you get it out, you're good. Once you get it all out. So it's still cooking right now. I'm sorry I haven't been making any new videos, but I've been real busy. I gotta, you know, take care of like my kids and life it just happens <laughs> no but um yeah you know i could make this i can make this uh from scratch but it takes a lot longer you have to have patience because when you're making the gravy for it um you're making it but you have to like stir it stir it constantly and constantly because you want that that gravy to come out nice and rich and dark you know and that's what takes it that's why you're you know takes a little bit of time but it comes out so delicious but something like this you know it's gumbo sausage gumbo that's what i'm making it's it, it's um pretty easy when you do it this way because all, all the gravy is already made but this is like the times when you don't have that much time on your hands and you want to make something like really tasty something delicious. look it just popped up see how it's now it's warm i don't know if you could see let me show you it just popped up just said warm all right i don't know if you could see see how it just pops up on its own but it still stays hot look at it i'll show you my rice Ooh, i don't know if you could see it Hold on, because it's steaming. But there it is. And I'm going to keep it nice and warm over there. Can you see me? Can you see what I'm doing? Usually I have it a lot closer. Okay. The rice is done. I think it only took like 15 minutes. Somebody brought cake. Is my hair looking good? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Rudy just went to go get the uh, Olive Garden. So it's going to be a super easy day. Hey, Joseph. Hey, hey that's nice. And Dr. Pepper. <laughs> what? How dare you? You don't like no homemade food. Chicken Parmigiano. It's like the chicken fingers. Oh, it's okay. Everybody's got their own taste. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and press this into this. All right, and I'm gonna put it in my gumbo. I did about five cloves of garlic. I got this at H-E-B too. It's nice and cute thing to have it's little. I don't want something big, so I use this. Oh, it's going to be good.
I get enough from it. And I'm gonna stir. And then it's starting to smell like garlic. Mmm, it smells so good. I don't know, it might be. Oh, in the house? Oh, uh, maybe they're not closing it right. I have to. I like to do that. <laughs> Some people don't like it. But... All right, then you add your goodness. I'll show you what it is. You see it? not fit in. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe. All right. There you go. I might get it all. All of it. Make sure you have one of these. And stick it in and get all that good stuff here. video I guess so this is all you do Look. you add this to this of course I put my own little spin on it which makes it a lot better you cook it it doesn't say to add water right Now I have to add broth. Uh, one to two cups. One to two cups. I I hope I have broth. I know I have lots of I don't know for you to give them. Tell that lady. She was like, You don't have to do anything. more than what I thought. And two. Is it two or three? It's one to two. 
there you go. I put two and a half. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to put this up. And because I'm a little more, I bought me some shrimp and I'm gonna add it to it. Okay, so I got my shrimp, I deveined it and I um, took out the pill. I got my pan. And I'm gonna put some butter. Just a couple of, just a couple of, I'm gonna flatten them out so they all cook about right. Now I am going to add <laughs> Tony's Creole. Good. This is already set. Uh,
They only cook like about a minute or two, but since there's a lot of, you know, a lot of this coming out, you'll know when they're done. They are pretty much almost done. There's some of them that aren't, so I'm just going to make sure. It's going to take out the sun. So we got a sauce, we got chicken, and we got noodles. Well, we had some of these mozzarella sticks. We have gumbo. And of course, if somebody wants a hot dog, that's what our meal is. Here's the gumbo. There you go. You gotta be Get a little bit of that. The rest is yours, Dad. Hold it. 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 Hold it.
Let me tell you, when you add a little bit of your own stuff, it comes out really good. Mmm. So good. Wait, so they're really cooking is that one? Try this out. Doesn't take that long. It doesn't take that long. <laughs> Everybody's eating. And it is good. And of course, you know, at the chicken farm, I just ordered it. But it is good. So if you want to make something that is easy and delicious, this is what you're going to make. You got um, a potluck, this is what you're going to make. You're going to be hit. Well, until then, I love everyone out there. Thank you for watching my channel. Until then, see ya. Is it a thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay, let me see Maya. I didn't make it too hot. You don't like it. It's not spicy, it's hot. Okay. Is it a thumbs up? Alright.